Look, I'm wearing blue, and you know what that means. We've got some news from Medtronic two weeks ago. The brand new flagship from Medtronic, Medtronic 780G, has been launched in selected countries in Europe, including the UK. So in this video, we're going to have a look at what's new, what's the same, and break down everything that I need to know about the brand new flagship from Medtronic. So 780G has the same design as the older Medtronic pumps. In fact, this is not actually 780, this is my old 640G, but they look identical, so I'm just using this for demo purposes in this video. The only physical difference is the button, which now has four squares. So on the outside, it looks exactly the same, but on the inside, it is completely different. It has Bluetooth, B-L-O-O-T-H. <laughs> I cannot spell Bluetooth. Alexa, how do you spell Bluetooth? Bluetooth is spelled B-L-U-E-T-O-O-T-H. Yeah. yeah. The new pump has Bluetooth. <laughs> so because the entire system is Bluetooth based, there's now an iOS and an Android app. Now the app allows you to display all of your pump and CGM data. It doesn't allow um, remote control, so it is just for display purposes only. For Medtronic, a company that's all about the color blue, it actually took them quite a long period of time to embrace the Bluetooth um, connectivity on their pumps, but we're finally here. Minimed app displays all insulin pump and CGM information, including acting insulin on board, corrections, as well as all the adjustments that pump has made. All alerts and alarms are now on the app as well, so pumps low and high alarms can be seen on the Minimed app. And because the entire system is now Bluetooth enabled, uh, it uses the information superhighway um, of a known as the internet to share your data with your loved ones. So you can share your CGM and pump and all of the alerts data with up to five people. Um, so this is great um, for parents and caregivers. Um, so basically works in the same way as Dexcom share or uh, LibreLink. The brain of the pump, the algorithm, the thing that decides how much extra or less insulin to give um, is also completely new. It's not actually made by Medtronic. It's made by an Israeli company called Dream Med, and Medtronic is just using their technology in the brand new 780G pump. The entire system is obviously a closed loop, so it gives you extra insulin uh, when high and less insulin when low, but it is a significant upgrade over their uh, existing 670G because it is now capable of giving correction boluses. So when high, system can now deliver an automatic correction without uh, your input. So what does that mean in terms of day-to-day -day usage? Well, the automatic correction bolus means that a high glucose level will be dealt with much faster and you'll be brought down into your target glucose much faster um, compared to the previous system. And also because the system can now automatically give a correction bolus, a correction injection, um, there will just be less input from the user to deal with highs. Now, speaking of target glucose, can I just acknowledge the fact that on the 780G you can actually change your target glucose uh, to as low as 5.5 or 100 milligrams per deciliter. Now, you can actually twist it and change it to uh, what you would like from um, a couple of options. So you can have 100, 110, 120. Unlike um, with the 670G, where the target glucose was always 6.5 or 120, and that was not customizable. 780G is powered by the existing Guardian Free uh, sensor, which has a seven day wear time and requires two calibrations a day, and a brand new Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, now, in the future, when the next generation of the Medtronic CGM is out, that CGM will actually be compatible with the Medtronic 780G. So um, the system allows updates to uh, the CGM system. And uh, another thing that it allows is software updates. So not only the CGM, but also uh, you'll be able to update the software. So uh, just like with the Tandem um, T-Slim X2 insulin pump, uh, where you can update the software, this works on exactly the same basis. However, unlike with the Tandem pump, uh, the 780G uh, doesn't require any cables. So to update a Tandem pump, you need to plug it into a computer 
and uh, download the software on your laptop and then download it to um, the pump using a cable. With 7HG, it all happens over the air, happens remotely, thanks to Bluetooth. I forgot to mention, this pump has Bluetooth. I've, I've, I, I don't think I mentioned it earlier. Um, so all thanks to Bluetooth, it downloads it to your phone and then over Bluetooth, because it has Bluetooth, to your pump. So no cables um, over the air Bluetooth uh, world. We are here today. No, I just realized I, I forgot to mention earlier that 7HG actually has Bluetooth built in. And so because it has Bluetooth and now over Bluetooth works with uh, the Roche um, guide um, blood glucose meter. So uh, whenever you need to calibrate or just check with your um, finger stick, um, that data is synced automatically over Bluetooth from the Roche meter. So yeah, 7HG is a very significant update, uh, especially because it has Bluetooth, I think I mentioned it earlier. So um, there is a phone display app, you can share your data, all new algorithm with um, customizable target glucose and correction bonuses. Uh, and so um, that's the 7HG. So 7HG joins Medtronic 700 engine pump lineup, which at the moment looks like this. We have the 720G with Guardian integration with no adjustments. We have the 770G uh, with all of the features of 670 but with Bluetooth. So it has the uh, display app and you can share your data with caregivers, etc. And at the top of the lineup, we have the brand new 780G with an all new algorithm, correction boluses, customizable target glucose. And that's what it looks like. So um, do let me know what you think about uh, 780G in the comments. Um, if you want to learn more about um, your local approvals and things like that, I'm going to put some Medtronic links in the comments so you can find out um, uh, things like that. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, I will see you um, shortly with another video about diabetes tech. Um, hope you enjoy this one. Hope you're staying safe. And see you in the next one. Bye.